Let's try to piece this together. Okay, so... That's not right. Not for construction. Maybe that's not what we need. Oh, okay, we can take this. Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Huh. Look at this cheese! Wow! To slow him down and aid in your escape. Wow! I'm turning on the jets. Holy mo! Oh, he's right there. Maybe you do have to shoot. Oh! Oh! <laughs> down goes Kelso, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I tried to turn on the jets. I guess you got to shoot. You got to shoot that man because he ain't fast enough, cuz. He ain't fast enough, baby. <laughs> ah, it's tough. This is that Crash Bandicoot cheese. It kind of does remind me of Crash Bandicoot. All right, so let's shoot him. We're running. Shoot at the driver to slow him down. Oh, wait. Oh, he's looking. Look at that cheese. He did slow down to block it, right? He's blocking with the bulldozer. Wow, he oh, blocked shit. the shots. Oh, he's doing it again. Oh, <laughs> he's blocking. Oh my gosh. Run for it. Oh, you gotta let it fly, baby. Get up there. I made it. Sheesh. That man's got defense, cuz. He was blocking the shots. Sheesh. That is jokes. Okay, we do have a phone over here that they want me to use. So let's do it. Let's get into it. That was just ridiculous, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. All right, so we have an address. So why in the world are they getting wood? That doesn't make any sense, right? So this is really, this story is just taking a turn. Right here at the end. We don't know what's going on, cuz. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's hop it, baby! So this kind of looks like, or maybe not, maybe not. I thought it kind of looked like the start of the game, but nope, that was at night, so. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got. 
Let's make sure we didn't miss anything either. And actually, we did have... Let's see if there... Oh, there's another gate over here, too. Look at that. Okay, so we could go that way. There's wood there. But we might want to check this. Look at that. There's two gates. Oh, this man's got... He's got some speed. So this is where their lumber comes from? Hmm. All right. Well, well, well. Let's see if there's anything in the back. Walk up to this, nothing to see here. Let's go to the back of the back. And maybe we might have to get on top of the building, you never know. Can we climb that? No, we cannot. All right, so we have a storeroom. Or screen, oh no, screening room, and we have stage three. Interesting. So maybe we gotta go in there. That is open. Nothing else appears to be open, so we might have to run in here. Okay. So this place has been torn up a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, is that what I think it is? Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. And that's empty as the real well. should be nearby. Oh. All right, so we'll put that down. There is a newspaper there. Can I grab that? Oh, I can't, but I have this. But maybe this is not what we need. And I guess that might not be one of the it's not every newspaper they let you take. So yeah, we cannot take this, even though it's making that, it's gonna be for that. All right, so let's keep looking. And what is this? Oh, we've got a projector. Hey. Okay, so use to move and then select. Oh, okay, so we have two dials here. Wow. So I guess we're gonna have to figure this out or maybe. Oh, okay, this is forward and that's. Okay, so let, let's let take this. Oh, this is the speed. Oh, okay. Okay, so we might have to go all the way to the left for this one. Or actually, maybe that's too much. Okay, let's try this. Maybe that is too slow. Okay, so I see what we're doing here. So this is like... I guess this is the uh, the focus, maybe. That's too fast. And then we'll switch. Maybe switch it instead of rewinding it. All right, go back to the middle one. And let's see. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of The Times. Doctor, District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I 
think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Uh-oh. So look at that. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders... So they're just going to keep running that back and forth, so let's go ahead and look for a phone. It's funny that they call it a game well. Come on, girl. All right, we're turning on the jets. We're figuring stuff out. Before this guy gets back. Let's get it. Or actually, I guess you can't step in there, cuh? Oh, there we go. Operator, can you put me through to police dispatch? Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Off here to say, Mr. Kelso. Thank you. Uh oh. Splash is incoming. And look who's there. We're back here as well. Are we going to switch I characters don't again? Suppose I'll make a plea. Cause baby, you know I'm He's guilty. trying to let it fly as well. Look at that shape. Is he going to go around the back or some cheese? He is going around the back of the back. Oh, he's going to see. Oh. Uh oh. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? 
Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. And who is watching that? Or maybe they're just giving us a nice camera shot. Oh, in the back alley, baby! All right, Elysian Fields at 920. Gonna have to hop the gate again, huh? Turn off those lights though, cuz you don't want nobody knowing you're here. Okay, so there's a light flashing up here. Look at this. I like this neighborhood though, right? Looks like a typical suburban neighborhood. Something's going on upstairs. Maybe maybe this thing's about to explode, cuz you never know. Alright, we're inside. He's got a light. And I wonder, do we need to investigate the house? Maybe not, right? It's playing music, but it's not playing the investigative music. It's playing some other music. But let's see how they're doing. Oh, wait a second. We do have clues. Good thing I'm not thirsty. Okay, so that doesn't work. Look at that chase. Okay, so we can investigate the house before we go up there. All right, I think we're ready to go upstairs. Let me just double check. There's nothing. Oh, wait, something's rumbling right here. What's this? All right, let's flick the light. Lights don't work, huh? Oh, man, this is a fake house. Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. Yeah, keep them in the dark. These are fake houses. <laughs> Yo, this is hilarious. This is jokes. Okay, before we go upstairs, let's just double, triple check. Up the stairs we go. Uh-oh, they got some scary music going on out here. So the flashing light is in that room and in this room right here. So we're going to save that for later. How about that? Let's make sure we check everything else out. Nothing is here. We have a room here. We got a room here. All right, we'll check this one first. That's not the one. It's going to be the next one. Okay, the light's in there. We've got a toilet and a tub. Nothing is shaking here. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Oh! Let's put a few gaps in that. What's up, Mac? Wow. to play with. Ooh. For you to lose some teeth. Wow, we're getting double teamed. Ooh! Oh! Don't worry, buddy. I'll lay you out quick. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Oh, the finisher works on everybody. Look at that cheese. Wow, that man's like Batman. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Oh, ooh. Oh, we lost. We failed, huh? Oh, -hoo. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Oh, man, they're taking us into the trunk. We really messed up. Ah, that's tough. One versus three, what could we do, baby? Uh-oh. They're making calls. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. 
He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> What do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Ooh. Yeah, I know a good place. Pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German next. We're getting transported all the way to... Oh, wait, he's getting up out of there. They don't see it? Uh-oh. Elsa. We're turning on the jets. I got to steal this car right here. Oh, he's running. That guy just ran. Okay, thank you. Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Whoa. Hey! Oh ho ho! We've got to escape! Oh, that's bad turning! That's ah, tough. We got three cars on us. Sheesh! Monroe owns the city. Oh, wait a second. Owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Uh oh, I think this was the bad street to turn on. Look at this. Alright, we're playing chicken. Hey! Crossover move! Let's get it! Oh, they're still there! Control your car. Hey! Oh, wait. Ah, we couldn't turn there. We gotta turn like so. Hey! We'll turn down this alleyway, baby! We got them! Got them leaning! They look lost, huh? Let's go! Turning on the jets. Oh, wait. Ah, they're going to be right there. That's ah, tough. Oh, they made it back. I thought I had them lost. I've got a job. To hey. Oh, wait. We're going to do city damage. <laughs> We're killing people. Hey. We're just swerving and turning. All right, that appears to have worked a little bit. Oh, we're jump, we're popping a willy in the whip. All right, will they catch up again? Where are they? Nice. Is that the last of them? Nice. Beautiful escape. And we get to see the Hollywood. Wow, what a getaway. They didn't even let it fly, right? They didn't shoot at us. Why are we driving so slow, cuz? All right, here it is. We're pulling up to the crib. Look at him. Oh, he's down bad. He's like, look, I got to clean up before I go in there. <laughs> you know they're going after her, too. They said they were going after her next. So you got to make this quick, cuz. Still carrying that Army 45, Cole. Oh, splash! For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Leaning! I crossed myself over. Look at that ankle breaker. <laughs> oh! Wow, the House of Sticks is over. And we've got some city damage this time. $290. Holla. The truth is out. Look at the feet. Oh, it's a perfect, it's a perfect placement. That is the best free throw line dunk yet. I'm not on the line. That was beautiful. <laughs> Off vert, no dribble, just caught it and went. 
Just caught it and let it fly. 